Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today I'm going to explain to you the differences between the HTML, the rich text, and the plain text email formats. More specifically, when you're using these formats with email signatures, and which one is the better one to use for you. So, we'll start off with the HTML format first. The pros of the HTML format is that you can use hyperlinks, um, it allows you to use embedded or hosted images, it lets you use different font styles and colors, and all that sort of stuff. And um, it also lets you use uh, HTML tables. So most you know HTML signatures that you see out there will have table uh, HTML tables in the code itself, uh, which will have you know different heights and widths. And uh, basically, it lets you adjust the signature to exactly how you want it to be. And uh, in addition, it also lets you use um, uh, you know most of the HTML attributes, uh, which is you know the ahrefs, spans, CSS styles, and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so in terms of cons, um, it's uh, one uh, one con which is not a huge one, but it can cause problems when you're creating the signature, which is that basically email, all, all the different email clients render HTML differently because they use uh, different rendering engines. And um, that's why it's important to use a really good email signature generator when you're creating your email signature. Because if you try to create your email signature manually, most likely you won't know the different um, you know, tips and tricks to um, get the email signature looking right between uh, all the different email clients. Um, so if you keep watching this video at the end, I'll show you a really awesome email signature generator that you can use for free. Um, so next up, we'll move to the rich text format. The pros of the rich text format is that it supports you know different text adjustability such as italics, bolding, and underlines, similar sort of scenario to um, the HTML format in that regard. Um, it allows you to use embedded images but not hosted images. Uh, it lets you put in um, bullet points and also it gives you some text alignment options. So in terms of the rich text um, format cons, um, you can cause images to be attached uh, to the email uh, and that, that happens because you, the images are embedded instead of hosted. So when you send an email to someone uh, using the rich text format and you've got an image embedded in the email, when they convert it to plain text format, for example, uh, the email client doesn't know what to do with the image. So it just simply attaches it to the email because that's uh, the easiest thing to do. Um, whereas with a hosted image, uh, which you know HTML format supports, uh, if you have a hosted image in your email signature and that email signature is converted to plain text format, what will happen is that you'll see a link there um, in the where the image normally would be. You would see just a hyperlink to where the image is. And the other con is that it can cause when mail that, that attachment um, problems. And um, if you haven't seen the video I uh, put up last week, it basically explains how to fix the when mail that, that attachment problems in Outlook. So next up, we've got plain text format. Now the pros for the plain text format is that it's supported by all email clients, meaning that basically all email clients support plain text format. So there'll be never any compatibility issues there. Um, the other thing is that there's uh, lower email overheads when you, um, send an email. So that means uh, basically the size of the email is smaller. So if you're sending thousands and thousands of uh, you know, emails a day, um, it just means that the email will be smaller and it will t you know, take up less disk space on your mail server, which in turn basically costs you less. Uh, and there's also, uh, when you send an email uh, in plain text format, there's less chance of your uh, email being detected as spam uh, because you can't inject malicious HTML code in it. You can't um, have HTML code in it at all. So uh, when when emails are generally checked for spam, uh, you know, to check the spam rating on a mail server, um, it, the HTML code of the email uh, gets checked. So because there's no HTML code in plain text, uh, there's less chance of it getting caught up in the spam filter. Um, and last but not least, it's great for sending automated emails such as notifications, alerts, anything that doesn't require, you know, perfect. Um, uh, formatting or you know it doesn't require it to look uh, like a beautiful signature um, so it's it's great for that and the cons um, of plain text is uh, sort of what I was just saying basically it looks very basic and you can't um, style the email signature it's basically just plain text um, 
So that's kind of the downside of um, having a plain text uh, email signature. Now, another thing I might just quickly mention is um, the conversion of the different formats. So if you send an email in HTML format, it, it can automatically be downgraded to rich text or to plain text format. But if you send an email in plain text format, it can't automatically be upgraded to rich text and HTML format. And that's kind of an important thing to you know take into account is, so if you send an HTML signature and someone opens it in plain text, uh, they'll see your signature as plain text, for, you know, in plain text format, which won't have any of the images uh, or any formatting or anything like that. And uh, that can sometimes be a bit of an inconvenience um, to, to people, but that's that's the way that email clients basically work. So um, yeah, but if you send an email as plain text to someone, um, they won't be able to, you know, uh, reply to you and insert their HTML signature into the email without manually you know, converting the uh, email into HTML format. At the start of the video, I did mention that I would show you an awesome email signature generator, which is this one here that we've developed ourselves. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for an email signature, uh, give it a try, it's called Gimio. Um, you can um, get to it either by searching Google or just going to gim.io. Um, and basically, yeah, we've got tons of email signature templates here that you can use. Um, and it's a really, really awesome application, especially if you've got multiple staff members and you need to, you know, have if, and they all need to have the same address, for example. Um, you can apply that field there to all signatures in the group um, or just this individual signature. So let's say you've got 100 signatures in the group. You can easily apply this field here to all the signatures that are in that group, which makes it really, really easy to, you know, make signatures for your staff members and all that sort of stuff. We do also have a bulk import um, option. So if you have a CSV file of all your staff members, simply send it over to us and we'll get it imported for you fairly quickly. And uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.